Hello everyone. Hi, hi, hello. Let me see. Hi. Esther here for Elizabeth Crafty Science. Trying to find you <laughs> on my screen. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Hold on. Where are you guys? Let me see. Yes, I think I found you. Can you hear me? How is the sound today? Yes, I found you. Hi, Sandra, Michelle, Ma Ma Maris, Maris, <laughs> yeah, Tina, A4. Oh, I see a lot of I4, A4. Sorry, Sweden, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Sorry for that. Hi, Rick, Anki, Petra, Nelleke, <laughs> Belinda. Hi, Belinda, I just saw your message. Hi, Anki, hi, hi, hi. I think the sound is okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Hi, Annemiek. Oh, I keep no. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Annemiek. I've been watching for you to find a map, but uh, I couldn't find the right number. So maybe you can find one yourself. Um, hi, Sue. Good to see you too, Patricia, Diana, Candice. Hi, hi, hi. Let me start with the winner of the fifty-dollar gift certificate. That is Katie Planter. Katie, um, if you hear this, if you see this. You won a $50 gift certificate from Elizabeth Crafty Science. So please contact them on info at ecraftdesigns.com to, uh, to claim your certificate. Okay, so now we are going to have fun. <laughs> hi, Becky. Hi, Anya. Hi, Sir Stempelot. How are you doing? Rachel, Teresa. Okay, uh, my plan for today is, okay, um, September already begun. Uh, I'm going to work in the first week of September, m make my first week of September. And as you can see, I uh, have already been adding some papers I made the other day. Um, these are papers for, the, for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, I made these backgrounds with uh, the stencils from the planner collection and some ink. There is a, a video about that on my YouTube. I think there are two, one uh, Facebook Live and one uh, YouTube video. Uh, which shows you how to do that if you want to do that. So, and with the pages I made back then, I already set up some uh, pages in my journal for the week of, sorry, for the month of September. So that's what I'm going to work on today. And let me see who else is here. Hi, Carla, Anki, Wilma, Cora. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Uh, Belinda. Oh yeah, Belinda, you just mentioned you were also doing this, right? Hi, Anita, Anja, Honora, good to see you too, and Inge. Welcome, welcome. Okay, my plan. Um, I am thinking about using this element from the sidekick uh, set number 1976. And my plan is to use this one on this page. Then I also took out this set. It's the iris iris shutter add-ons. It has all those elements. So I cut one or two, no, three, four of those <laughs> um, in some matching colors. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all, but... And then I also thought, um, but I think I'm not going to use it, but um, if you see this uh, circle here from the camera kit, and I found out that it's almost exactly the same as this one from um, the sidekick set. So the, the extra elements from here, I think, but maybe not, no. Yes, I can do that because I'm going to cut this out paper. So this will give you a circular uh, circle opening. And then I think I can add this one around it. Uh, but these are just a few elements I took and I'm not sure yet which one I am going to use. So. Uh, now, uh, I can start with this side and still think about this side <laughs> because I'm not 100% sure yet. Or shall I start with this side? Um, so then the difficult part is over. The, the thinking <laughs> is over. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Candace. Sylvia. Sylvia, Sylvia. I have missed the picture. Oh, okay. I don't think, I don't understand what you are talking about. Sorry. 
Mm, I have Mrs. Klaus. Oh, I think you're talking about, um, yeah, 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 one of um, Josette's dice. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to do it. My plan is to cut out those three holes from this page. And I know I already um, added everything together. So when I'm going to make holes in here, you will also see them over there. But I will cover that up later. So now my only thing is, okay, how shall I put them? So I think I like this most. And my idea is to put a, a larger picture down here. Hi Rebecca, good to see you too. Hi Lillian. <laughs> they look like handcuffs, but I think you only have two hands with handcuffs. Two of those things. <laughs> but I can imagine. Um, now you can um, die cut it like this, but I think it's a little bit more interesting when I am... Um, oh, I heard something strange down here, downstairs. Um, when I am sliding this one underneath this uh, piece of paper. So when I'm putting it here, it's, it's not connected to this side. So I think I'm going for this. And um, hopefully it will look nice. I haven't tried it before. Mm, and then it's okay. Shall I put them uh, straight on top of each other? Shall I move them uh, a little bit more to the side on one, one side? But I think I'm going to... Uh, try to make them um, go on top of each other on this side. And this one is going a little bit more to the left. Let me see. Okay, I'm going for this. Get my cutting thing. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hello, Belgium. Let me see. I think I'm going to do this. And then we'll see. Oh, it's moving a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> turn on the power, it would be nice. <laughs> Do we have a birthday girl over here? <laughs> okay, here we go. There's one circle already. Okay, now it's giving me three beautiful holes. Um, okay, I think that will be really nice. I'm going to take them out because that's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, three holes <laughs> and two pages. So, putting these back in the set. And now I have this little piece left. And you can see it's the leftover piece from this, uh, this part. So my idea is to cut it into uh, a few um, smaller pieces and then glue it behind uh, the circles. Just um, yeah, to make the pattern, the same pattern, uh, come back behind those holes. Now, uh, it's not enough, uh, not wide enough to uh, glue down the whole strip at once. So, uh, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to cut it into four pieces or three pieces and then glue it on the back of those rings. Yeah, just give it a try. I'll cut them first and then can we see uh, what it looks like? Maybe it's not fun at all. <laughs> and I think I do have to do the, the outlines of the, the numbers with a black marker. But I think when we do something like this, and now I have to watch <laughs> to my screen uh, to see it pop up. I know there's a little bit delay in, in the connection. I think that will work out fine. Okay. I think I'm going to glue them down. No, I'm first going to use a marker. And I think I used a wider, wider marker with a broader a nip for the other ones. But I'm not sure which one it was. Let me check. Yes, I think it's this one. Now, I don't have to do everything because you only see a little piece um, of the numbers. And this is uh, how I did a whole sheet um, yeah, with the stencils and the numbers. 
to make your own backgrounds. And again, it's on my YouTube. And um, if you want and you missed it, you can still uh, watch a replay over there. So I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be really neat. Because it's just some background. And I'm going to show you that it looks different already. Uh, no, this is a little bit too much over here. So, can you see the difference with uh, black added and without black? Oh, let me see here. <laughs> Over here. This is much, this pops out uh, much better than this one. So, I am going to, let me see, shouldn't you die cut the holes again? Or hold on. No, I'm not going to cut the holes again. I'm just gluing this one down on the back. And then I will cover this one up later with uh, another piece of paper. You can cut out the circles if you want, but I will make it a little bit smaller. Because otherwise, take off those corners. A little bit over here. I think I will glue down this one immediately so you can see what it does. Okay, some glue. I don't see your comments. They are gone. <laughs> you are gone. Oh no, I'll find you again. Hi Mike Lay, good to see you too. Okay, number 32. We'll go somewhere here. Oh no, I'm taking it out again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. I need to do some distressing. Not sure if it will work this way, but I'm going to give it a try. It needs to have a little bit ink on the inside here. Just a little bit. And I don't think the glue will still work, so I'm adding something extra. David also here. Hey, David. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay, that's number one. Uh, which one should I take? Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I think this one will go quite well over there. So you see, don't throw away any scraps. Because this was just a part uh, I had left from making the other pages. And now I still can use it. So that's what I always think is fun. Oh, bye. I want to do it too quickly now. <laughs> it's always fun and if you have some leftover pieces and you can use it for something else. So this one will go here. I need to do a little bit on this side too. And I know the back will look terrible, <laughs> but again, I will cover that up uh, when I'm going to work on the next pages. I'm not going to do that today. So this one will go here. I need to trim something off the corner over here. Uh, maybe this one too. Yes, that will work okay. And you see it looks crazy, the back side, but who cares about that? And the glue is giving me a little bit of a hard time again. Okay, let me check this side. Oh, I think it's upside down now, but that also doesn't matter. <laughs> it is upside down, but I am going to trim something off here too. Let me see. Okay, problem solved. 
And then another piece which has to go over here. I think that's cute. Hey Cindy, good to see you too. So I am quickly giving those numbers an outline too. Always um, do the outline twice. You can do it once, but believe me, if you do it twice, it looks so much better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can pitch them after three years, uh, Judy. <laughs> or you can also say, okay, uh, let's say if uh, a scrap is... Um, smaller than a uh, three by four inch or something, I throw them away. I'm not always doing that, but I was, I'm always thinking, okay, I should do that. Three by four inch, and then if it's smaller, throw it away. It doesn't work for me, but maybe it's an idea for you guys. Okay, glue on the back side, and this one. Hi, Malise, good to see you. <laughs> okay, I think that looks pretty nice, the circle background. Not sure what I'm going to do with the rest, but okay, it's a start. So, holes on this side. Now, my plan is to, oh, uh, pictures, yes, of course I have pictures. Pictures, Um, we went to France and Belgium, not last weekend, but the weekend before that. And there were huge, huge, huge uh, flea markets over there. So we went to both of them and I have some pictures I want to uh, use in my journal. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I printed this one and that was really a nice, I like the layout. I can show it to you now because I have my phone separated from my, um, let me see. How did I do it? Picolage, it's the app I used almost oh, <laughs> uh, all of the time. And then I found, let me see, can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Let me check. I need to go to uh, the templates over here. Did I find it? Yes. And then there was this one, Crazy Nostal Nostalgia. And this one is free. I, I, I didn't pay for this set. Was it over here? I think it was. Let me check. No, it's not here. Oi, 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 Esther. There are really many, many templates to choose from. So you just have to browse through them all and just um, try to find one which is free. <laughs> and now it wasn't there. Okay, but it's somewhere in this app. <laughs> and then I will, I will pick another one so I, I can show you how it works. May I see it really quick? Well, here, for, for example, here's a Halloween one. And then you, you choose this one and you just start picking uh, images and then this comes up. Just click the, the X on the top and then you can add your own photos. So uh, let me see. I, I'm going to randomly take some pictures here from a dog and a little girl, add them. And then you see it, um, it all pops in the right place. Now I took one, uh, picture too many. I chose one too many, so I'm removing that one. Oh, again, one more. <laughs> okay, and you can also change the picture. So if you want to say, let's say I want this one to be over there, then you pick it up uh, and then you just move it that way. And then you see the pictures are changing. If you want to remove the spider, you can remove the spider. So that's how I make uh, my pictures to the side I want or uh, to a collage I like. Okay, so I hope this is really helpful for you or a bit helpful. Okay, so that's what I did with this one, uh, but I'm going to trim off the white edges. Let me see. And I liked it because it was a little bit brown, the, the, the border is, and I had this brown frame left. So my idea was to put the, the brown frame on this side and then I have a little bit of brown. It's not exactly the same color, but it comes back on this side. So it's not exactly the same, but I think it can go really well together. So. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't bring home uh, <laughs> any fleas. I hope <laughs> I didn't notice them yet. Okay, so the brown one goes here. I've got some brown over here. Maybe I should darken this up a little bit. Um, I should use I think aged mahogany. That might be a good idea. And now I need a scrap of paper. Let me see. Okay, <laughs> I, I use this one. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. So it uh, matches this one a little bit better. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same color, but a little bit more reddish brown would be better. Yes, I think. Brouette. Oh, the translation. I have no ideas. I think that was a name. It's a very old book. I bought those two books. They are huge. They are thick like this. And I just bought them for decoration in our um, cupboard. And I liked the, the letters on, on the side. Uh, the next collection. Um, maybe you should ask else. <laughs> I think it's uh, October. Yeah, October, beginning of October. If I'm correct. Okay, I think this matches a little bit better. Mm, I should add a little bit extra. So one more time. Okay, this matches up a little bit better. Um, where was I? Okay, this one needs to go here. But uh, you see, I used some green on this side, and now I also want green on that side. So also. The, the leftover of this side, I am going to use this as a mat. Just like this, so it all comes together a little bit better. Let me see. Gluing this one down. So I only have a small border around it in the same green color as on the other page. On the other side, now I need my larger paper cutter, and it is so warm over here, you won't believe it. I have the air conditioning on, but it's still very, very hot. <laughs> and it's, uh, what time is it? Eight in the evening, yeah? <laughs> so, this one goes here. And this one, I think, I'm not going to trim it down completely here. I'm going to tear it off somewhere around here. So I have the same effect as on this side. It will also be on that side. So just something like this. And I am going to add some ink. Taking the other color again. I know the other color is still on my, um, where did I put it? <laughs> On my blender. Yes, it's too late to be warm. <laughs> uh, let me check. Uh, different colors. Oh, you are talking about photo apps. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read and work at the same time, talk at the same time. So. <laughs> Some ink in here. Okay, um, it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a fall page as I'm looking at it now. Uh, while it's still very warm here and I would love to jump in a pool or something, but okay. Uh, fall it is <laughs> in my journal. I have some, oh yeah, I, wa I wanted to use this too. I think it's going to be a little bit over the top, don't you think? But I like it. Oh, it's not that bad. And then this. Go crazy. Maybe something like this. Not sure yet, but if I'm going to use this on this side, I also want to have a little piece of this on the other side. So I can do th two things. I can take another one and use that on this side, or I can use the part which tucks under here, which you don't see an anymore. I can trim it off and use a little bit over here and glue it down on that side. So, um, 
let me see what you are all talking about. Nancy is sitting outside and you've got rain, Wendy. Oh, cool. Oh, there's still no rain over here. We, we need some rain. <laughs> 20 degrees. Okay. <laughs> I want fall back. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, shall I take this off? Because I need to know exactly, kind of exactly, where to trim it off. So let me mark it. Because I need the circle to go completely around it. Almost completely. Let me see if that would work. Somewhere here. And then. I think here, but it's maybe a little bit too small. Because when I'm going to trim it off here, then you will only see. Let me see, where is it? This part. I need to ink it so then it will look better. But I think I can do that. Yes, yes, yes. Going to give it a try. If it's not working, I'm going to take the other one. Let me see if I can see my marks. One is there, the other one is over there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lucky me. Now I'm going to have trouble uh, gluing it down and inking it probably. But it's not that bad. And this one will go over here. I love to uh, use the same element three times normally, but in this case, that is not going to work because they are quite big. Um, so I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And I have to be a little bit careful now because this is a little bit fragile, especially the one on the other side because it's so small. I'm going to give it a try. A little bit careful with moving my blending tool. But this one works out fine, but I'm a little bit afraid of the other side, the other part. But let's see if that will work. So this one should go here in a minute. I know it's a little bit over the top, but okay. Who cares? It's sometimes it's fun to do something like this. And then I'm going to use this one for the other side. Really careful. And I need to figure out a way to glue it down without damaging too much. Oh, that's a little bit too much of the ink. It needs a little bit more can use a little bit more, a little bit extra. And I hope it stays one piece. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm not sure if you're able to see it good, but... And this one goes here. Okay, now, trying to go and glue it down. I am taking this glue, the other one. Oh, thank you, Anki. <laughs> Hi, Els. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Hi, Anne. <laughs> okay, so this is the part from... Um, what was the name of the set again? The Iris add-ons. Yeah, one of those parts. Now, this is a little bit tricky, all those very thin uh, lines. But I'm just putting a little bit glue here and there. So it will stay in place. You can add double-sided adhesive before you do the die cutting. Uh, but again, I didn't do it. <laughs> it makes it easier to glue down some elements. Okay, this one is going over here. Hopefully I am doing it right, yes. And it's just a background, you know. It's not um, something really but if you want you also can do a picture behind this of course but because i'm already going to picture <laughs> to, i'm already going to add a picture down here uh, i didn't want to do one over here and then i had to add a circular circular <laughs> picture 
or one I could cut it out and I don't think I've cut one who's big enough. Well, I could have done this. Oh, bummer. Could have been nice. Okay, next time. This one I'm going to use with this frame and I hope it fits. Yes, it does. And that one will go there. So I can do that by hand. Where is my large, larger scissor? Oh, it's not over the top, Renee. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Sir Stampelot. Let me see how much do I need to glue it down. Wait, oh, it's not okay. I can trim it off around the edges as it is on the side. And I forgot to check the top part. So I have to put the frame back on again. <laughs> And where is it? Oh, that's also going to be fine if I cut it off here. And then this one, no, I think this looks great. I know it's not exactly the same color. The brown uh, on this side, it's still a little bit more red in this part than on this side. So I'm looking to the side and see if I have another color which would match a little bit better, but I don't think I have. It's not as red as on this side. So I am going to get in with the same aged mahogany one more time. So hopefully it's, it's getting a little bit more red brownish than it is already. <laughs> else yes you recognize it these are um pictures from the weekend we went to france and belgium and you know if you are ever in france in september you should go to this big 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 uh flea market it's huge you can't f do it in one day because there are so many um people selling their stuff over there and it's so much fun to see all the different things all the people who are collecting different things. You you see people walking around with, um, how do you call those? Smurfs? <laughs> you see, suddenly you see a lady uh, coming out of a stand from a, from a cellar, and then she is very happy holding a, a Smurf glass, showing it to her husband. And then we are thinking, what do you want to do with the Smurf glass? But it's so much fun to see what everybody collects and all the different things you can buy over there. So, Johan carried all that stuff. No, we did it together else. We have two of those little trolleys, you know, those sh shopping carts for older people. <laughs> we have got two of them and uh, we both had one. <laughs> the letters on the picture are black. Uh, let me see. And now as I'm gluing it down here, I don't like it. <laughs> I like the picture and the frame, but I don't like it uh, when it's here. I'm not sure. I have to do something else. I'm going to glue it down first. Um, and now I am going to use some double-sided adhesive and glue so I can move it around a little bit. Okay, let me see. Yes, but the flea market in, in France, um, they say they are about 2 million people uh, over there for the whole weekend. So you can imagine how busy it is and how crowdy. And <laughs> but it is fun. Smurfs, yes, the blue tiny men. Someone, a lady was really happy that she found a, a, a glass with Smurfs on it. And I'm only looking at old paper and vintage stuff. <laughs> and you see people walking by with a full cart with only buckets or only frames or, and, and that's so much fun. Okay. Let me see if this works. Here we go. Okay. No, I don't like it here. I don't know why. 
and I think I should have been putting something in here but I still can do that but I am not sure if this picture is big enough if it's large enough no it's not because when I cut it uh, you will see those white borders and I don't have any other pictures on hand over here so uh, let me see I'm going to put in a green one just to show you that it looks much better now <laughs> uh, because of this it's too much um, having this one inside so I need to add something else over there okay for now I'm leaving it this way and I'm not able to squeeze it underneath maybe I am no I'm not <laughs> uh, where is my tweezers where are my tweezers here this one I'm trying to <laughs> squeeze it underneath the circle then I don't even you have to use some glue no that's not working why is this now suddenly I made a mistake do you see it I made a mistake bar I didn't see it did you see this put another mat under the red one you can put a green down this one yes 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 I can put another picture in here but do you see I made a mistake over here I didn't notice oh how stupid so I need yeah I can fix that a little bit of this one you see what happened okay trying to fix this I need a little piece here no idea why I didn't see it but that's just because I'm talking too much so this one have to go here oh, the other way around that would be even better Esther okay nobody will notice okay here we go problem solved now this one goes here yeah and I'm going to glue it down but not uh, all the way up to the edges because I want to tuck something uh, underneath you can't see it on your iPad okay that's cool okay this one goes here and then there will be a picture or something else in here not sure what and this one I'm not sure if I'm able to use it but then I'm going to take the other one yeah I can do it but it's very fragile now and it's only a very small part but okay I think I will go for this putting this one back in the glue ah thank you Darla <laughs> Yes, that's correct. Mistakes are opportunities. I have to clean it up a little bit, guys, because... Okay, next. I think it looks nice when I'm watching it on the screen. But this is missing something. Here I need to do something extra. And I must say you hardly see these elements over here. But it's just a detail. So I think I'm going to glue it down anyway and um, what is a wise thing to do before I am doing something wrong again <laughs> let me see because I don't want to do it in the middle I am going to put it on the side I think more to the middle no to the side I am going to glue it down half if this works yes <laughs> with a pin in my mouth <laughs> okay that one will go here and then I'm going to glue this one down just adding a little bit of glue on this on the back again just like I did on the other side here we go And now I have to put it behind. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. That's one for this side and that one for that side. But now, 
What else can we do? Um, let me, oh, my weak number. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Weak number 35, this is. I've got the numbers. I've got those little tabby thingies. Um, which one should I think I'm going for this one? I've got this one too. Mm, let me see. I think I'm going for this one. I don't need to uh, glue it down underneath, so I'm going to trim it in half, cut it in half. Oh, your comments. <laughs> Hi, Miriam. Good to see you. <laughs> Are you at work, Miriam? Okay. Uh, some ink, of course. And I think this one will go here, and then I'm going to add this one on top. So it's the same, almost the same color, orange. 20 shades of orange. And that one goes here. No, it's a trial view. It's up to mid oh, up to midnight, Miriam. <laughs> okay. Number thirty-five. Thirty-five. Already pre-cut them, and those have double-sided adhesive for sure. So week number thirty-five. Okay, and I think I'm going to apply it here. There should be some something over there too. Another picture? No. I have those. Well, those. There's only one laying around here. Um, this is from one of the new sets, and it's also it was the same color as this one. Hmm. Definitely not sure about that one. There's my box with happy things. The little number thingies cut from the reminiscence book. And if you don't know what to use, just grab a few of those little things. And most of the time you will be fine adding them. Oh, that one will go perfectly over there. Oh, oops. That's no good, Esther. Okay, that one will go here. I always love to uh, use numbers. Numbers, numbers. Now there is some glue on my picture, of course. You also have those little things to remove the glue from your pictures. And I'm not sure if I've got it here. No, yes, it is. Not sure if everybody knows this, but <laughs> let me grab it for you. It's this thing. And in Holland, we call it a snotje. Um, else, <laughs> if you are here, do you have any idea how to call this in English? A snotje. Or maybe there's a different name for it in Dutch. But I, I only know this. Let me, oh, 3D, three days work, yeah, <laughs> a snotje, <laughs> yeah. it's a strange word, a snotje, yeah, else, a snotje, <laughs> adhesive eraser, yeah, <laughs> that's a more common sense word, <laughs> instead of snotje, if you translate snotje, that's really fun, um, it's a crazy word. Okay, I missed something here. It needs some more text. Oh, I can add something for journaling. Let me see. Where is my box with little cards? Scraps. Oh, hold on. I have to... I'm not sure if this is the correct one. No. Um, 
Where is it? Where is it? Slide of branches. I can use those too. No, I can't. <laughs> Coin holders. No, that's also not what I'm looking for. It's too many boxes. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a label. Where are my black labels? Labels black. I can do this. And these are also from the reminiscence books. And I think, let me see what work will work best. This is not stuck yet. Yes, I'm going to trim off something here. Um, so I can cut it off here, somewhere around here. Slide it under the picture. And then combine it with my week number. And then I can do some journaling over here. If you want, you can also add something extra here. And uh, let me see if there's something which I think I can use. Yeah, more numbers, of course. Numbers are always a good thing, but telephone. Well, that oh, there's a typing uh, typewriter over there, but I don't have the word typewriter. C word. <coughs> more numbers. I think I need some numbers on. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to do have a drink. Oh, thank you, Sir Stampelot. <coughs> yes, this this is uh, how I work. And now I'm doing exactly the same as I'm always doing, but now I am only talking with it <coughs> and trying to tell you. Um, let me see. No, I don't want red. This works over here, just a little bit extra. No, I don't think it adds uh, anything extra. Yeah, it does add anything, something extra, but it's not, um, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. So I think one, two, three will be fine anyhow. So I'm going for this one first. A little bit of blue and make sure that this one, um, yeah, it goes on top of it, but just a little piece. So, because I need to write down the date and uh, the place where we were. So, I need a little bit of room for my journaling. Okay, here we go. Week number 35. And then, oh, yeah. Of course, I need my reinforces and i think i'm going for simple black ones this time because it's already a little bit <laughs> too much maybe i need to add some black reinforces uh, i think i will take the larger ones at the bottom side and these are just the regular uh, circle ones You like snutchy better. Did somebody explain what snutchy means or what snutchy say uh, is in English? Not sure. <laughs> okay, one more here. And you see, this finishes it off. Eh? If you if you um, use the reinforcer, I'm going to add three more on this side. The large one. Little snot, yeah, a little snot, you know, uh, a piece from your nose. <laughs> That's what it means, a snotje. Okay. A snotje from your nose. Mm. Okay. And let me see, one more. <laughs> okay, shall I do the same ones on the top part? Well, I think I can. 
do I have enough? Oh, I, I, I will take the smaller circle ones at the top. Do I have time? Oh, yes, we have time. Okay, I can do it. And you can watch me glue down some reinforcers. <laughs> And the last ones on this side. Hey, Angelique, <laughs> welcome. We need to open these um, holes a little bit extra because I uh, made them with my one hole punch. Uh, I glued this piece of piece of paper on top of my planner page and then I had to open up the, the holes again. So that's why they are a little bit different sized than our um, official holes from the, the planner range. Okay, that's for the reinforcers. And now, still not happy, completely happy with this side of the pa of the page or the planner pages. Let me see. Maybe I can add something like this. Oh, that would be fun. A little arrow is always good to use. A little arrow somewhere. And I'm going to put it into my journal first, so then I can see what it looks like. Uh, when it's done, yes. Okay, here we go. See, that looks so much different already. I have to glue down. You are still talking about smudges. I notice. Okay, uh, I need some more numbers. I need one here, no here, and I'm still not happy with this. I'm not sure why, uh, and I'm not sure if I'm able to change it or make it look better. Let me see if I look on the screen. Oh, it's not that bad at all. But sometimes you are working so close on your own project that you you can't see it. And if I'm looking to it uh, more from a distance. I must say it looks better. Not completely happy with it, but okay, it's not bad at all, the circle over there. But on the other hand, you don't see anymore <laughs> what I did on the background, because I covered up this circle and I also covered up this one with the green part. So that's a little thing I'm thinking, hmm, it should have been a little bit different. But okay, it's only piece, pieces of paper. Should this be fun here? Add something extra. No, it doesn't bring anything extra. And can I do something like this over here? No, no use at all. <laughs> and this is how I play, you know. Let me see. Oh, that one would be nice. Or should I put it here? And it's just a little bit extra, but that's more the same color than on this page. So I think I'm going to glue that one down over there. Snot dots. <laughs> okay, this one goes over here. And now I'm gluing this down. As I'm gluing this down, I am thinking, I think I had the same color of reinforcer somewhere in my boxes. But okay, I've already uh, took out the black ones and glued those down. I need this one to come back somewhere. Oh, I can also do this. Ho, ho, ho. Stop, 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 stop. I'm going to take this out again. And I'm also going to remove this reinforcer over here. Okay. And that one over there. Okay. I have plenty of those black ones. And I'm going to glue this one down here. 
So do you see what happens? This one and this one, that one comes back and then I need one more somewhere. Regen, oh, you've got rain? On top of the cream. Oh, I can do something here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, uh, a little part over here, maybe. I can do something like this. So, you see, I've got one, two, three. That looks so much better already. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I should, yeah, I think I'm going for this. I'm going to glue those down first and see what happens. A little bit blue here. Uh, let me see. I am reading a story, half Sue. Let me see what you're writing. Uh, the strokes on a canvas, tape back. Yeah. Yes, that's correct, Sue. You are completely right. Okay, now I need my punch again <laughs> to open the holes. And <laughs> the, the back of the page, I know it's terrible, but okay. Working on that one next time. And now I need two new reinforcers. Those are here. And uh, let me see, where are they? Here. And when I'm making reinforcers, I'm always trying to put double-sided adhesive on the back because that makes it so much easier to grab them and immediately uh, able to glue them down. And of course, I sometimes forget about it too, but uh, most of the time, uh, I don't forget. Okay, here we go. So, you see the three um, same elements, they keep coming back. And um, it looks so much better. This one goes down here. And as I'm gluing them down, I see they are upside down, but who cares? <laughs> there is a little bit of text uh, typed in the labels, but... Um, I don't think anybody will notice that. Okay. And I think I am quite good with it now. What do you think? Do I miss something? Rain, rain, rain. I like the repetition of the elements. Thank you, Sue. You can also go for five if you want, but for those two pages, I think it's going to be a little bit too much. Let's say I'm gluing down one over here, and then I will also do one over here. It's too much using five. I, I'm going to show you. Uh, let me see, something like this. I would go here, for example, or you can do it here. It's all up to you. And then I would do another one on top of there. That will go up to here. Yeah. And you see, that's all up to you. Oh, I hope you can see it. It's a little bit shiny. But I think five is a little bit too much. It's not... Um, yeah, I do have smaller labels, but... Or you can do six. You can do one more here. But for me, personal, it's a little bit too much. So I am going to leave it with three. Okay, maybe? No, no. I'm going to leave it with three. Okay. I'm still not completely happy with this part here, so I need to figure something out or print a picture tomorrow morning and um, see what I can do over there. But for now, I am leaving it the way it is. And I think we're yeah, out of time also. So, well, I hope um, you liked it. And maybe I've been giving you some inspiration again. And um, I'm looking forward to see uh, what you are going to create um, in your journals, in your planners. And uh, please post them in the Facebook group, okay? And if you want to see how I made the backgrounds with the numbers and so, you can all uh, watch it on my, uh, my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.